When I first began as a school administrator, and I think about discipline, I can remember my first year or two um, being a lot of students waiting to see me in the office. That, that's what I recall. I recall teachers sending kids down um, for whatever reason, and I would then spend time processing with them. They would talk to me. I would try to listen and not necessarily be judgmental. I would talk to the staff member to try to hear their view, and then I would try to reconcile the two. If there was ownership with the student, certainly you want to support um, the staff member because they have a responsibility to run a class and to teach a classroom, and if students are being disruptive, they have to have strategies to work with them around that. But what I found was it was me facilitating a process between the two after something had happened. And so when CPS became more of the culture and staff understood it, it then became staff members facilitating that process before something happened. And I saw less and less kids that were being sent to the office referred to the office. Um, in the first school that I was in, um, I would say there were very few kids that were actually sent to the office during the day um, because the skill level of the staff member had increased and had a problem solve. In the current school that I'm in, very few students are sent down. And again, I would attribute that to this notion in this lens that it's as the classroom teacher and as a staff member, I'm building that relationship and doing problem solving with the student and that's what's going to lead to a lasting solution because it's between those two people. So that is a difficult shift for some people, particularly when you've been approaching things in a certain way for a long period of time. But it's, it's the most durable. Um, it uh, is meaningful change. I mean, it is very meaningful change to have that kind of a shift and it takes time to do that. But I think it's so important that staff members, and they deserve it, understand why. Why are we doing this? And that's where I go back to your vision of your school. What is it that you think as a school is important for students when they leave your institution? How have they grown as students academically and how have they grown socially and emotionally? What, what is the goal? What do you want students to walk away with? And I think about students being empowered, think about students growing and becoming the type of people, the type of citizens that are able to be leaders and learners and lifelong learners in the world. And when you think about this model and you think about your practices, that aligns. CPS, that practice aligns with developing young people who are going to go out in the world and make it a better place for others. And I think that sometimes our practices don't align with our vision. And so I think it's really important that we have a vision that lives and breathes and that our practices are helping to uh, push that vision forward.